Hey, what up everybody? Welcome to uh, Porch Talk with Cat. I'm Cat. Uh, <laughs> I'm meaning to call me Cat or Kathy. Catherine. I don't like to be called Catherine though. Just the doctors call me that. So anyhow, I'm making something today. It's a recipe from my uh, friend Amy down in Louisiana. Amy's Louisiana Kitchen, and it's Crock-Pot Sloppy Joes, and they looked so good, um, I just I had to give it a try, so I went to the store today and got all my ingredients for it, um, so the first thing I did was I took my Crock-Pot and got two pounds of uh, ground hamburger, and she encourages to get, you know, the... 96% um, and I got the 93 so hopefully it won't be too greasy but I'll you know take that off if I need to so I've, I sprayed the inside with uh, some cooking spray and you put all your ingredients in there and um, she says to let it uh, cook on high for either four to six hours or on slow uh, for six to eight hours so I'm not sure I'll probably do the four hour just because it's pretty late in the day it's almost four o'clock and everybody's gonna be hungry <laughs> I know I will be by eight o'clock so um, so after that let's see um, I had diced up now she says to, to dice everything very finely and I am no good at chopping. I don't like to chop. I'm not good at chopping, but you know what? Old cat, I think did a pretty good job this time because there we go. See all that? Finely chopped and it, it does call for some garlic and she said to use the instant, so I'm doing that today too. Um, and she said it would be okay to do that. So next we're gonna put in um, our large yellow onion, which, oh yay, I got it on the cutting board. So let me put it in here. Not the whole thing, just the, just the ceramic part. Excuse my dishes too, y'all, if you caught that in the sink. <laughs> so I'm just kind of stirring this around a little bit. And I am going to grab... This is my trusty little wooden spatula from Dollar Tree. You know, Dollar Tree, I get a lot of my stuff from there, really. Um, I mean, I'll get stuff from, the, you know, Walmart and Hobby Lobby, too. Um, but I get quite a few things at the Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar General. Dollar General has a pretty good selection of it. Of bakeware. I was pretty impressed when I went to our neighborhood one a couple days ago. Okay, next I'm using my other phone because um, I didn't, I was too lazy, I didn't want to write it down. We all get that way, get lazy. Um, one red bell pepper. that finely diced chopped or whatever I have never done it so so nicely so finely I better shut up and quit bragging myself up every time I do that something always <laughs> goes bad okay so one red bell pepper 
very finely diced. And I finally diced up two celery, two celery ribs. And so that's what they came out looking like. And you want them, she said that you want them everything diced very finely so it just kind of melts into the, to the sloppy joe, to the meat. This is going to be so good, y'all. All these good spices that are going into it, too. Mm -mm -mm. How is it she does it? She goes, ooh. <laughs> I laugh every time I watch her videos. <laughs> she does that. I just crack up. Oh. You know, I've gotten to know quite a few fine Christian gals, Southern cooking. I mean, they, they're, they're just good people. I can't believe how we've all connected. And I feel so thankful and so blessed for that. I really do. Okay. Um, next is six ounces or 17 grams of uh, tomato paste. And I just, I just got the best choice or usually Walmart brand, off brand or whatever. I think it's pretty much all one and the same and tastes the same to me anyway. I don't know if y'all are picky and like to get hunts or something really mean brand specific. But on this stuff, on tomato paste and tomato sauce, de depends on the tomato sauce, but. If it's just the size that I'm about to add, which is, I think it's, what is it, eight ounces? Yeah, eight ounces or 227 grams of tomato sauce. Which is what I'm going to be adding next. And once again, it's just a off brand. And make sure you have your little dollar tree spatula like this so you can get in these little cans and get all that goodie out i don't want to waste any of that okay give it a good stir Okay, I don't like that sound. Um, all right, and then a half a cup of barbecue sauce. So since I'm not in Iowa and I can't get my cookies barbecue sauce from up there, I just got some plain old always saved <laughs> barbecue sauce. And I think it's going to be fine because there's so many other awesome flavors that are going into this. I am just not going to sweat it. So this calls for a half a cup. And Miss Amy said that she ended up adding, I think, another fourth of a cup or something to it. So we'll see. Don't know if I'll have to do that or not. All right, y'all, next, uh, a fourth of a cup of ketchup. And I'm just doing the plain hunts. I'm kind of picky on my ketchup. I don't know if y'all are, but I sort of like it name brand. Just my preference, I guess. Okay, y'all don't laugh if it makes that <laughs> noise. <laughs> I know, I can have kind of a... crude sense of humor sometimes. I tr I've been trying to change that about myself. Not too ladylike. 
just joke a lot. I'm very, I don't think people know how to take me sometimes. Fourth of a cup of ketchup, y'all. This is what this was. All right, and my phone screaming off. Oh, okay. And then next we're going to do a tablespoon of brown sugar. This is going to be good. I can smell this already. Just all the stuff I prepped. I could smell it. Okay. Um, yes, one tablespoon of brown sugar. Sorry, I was looking down the recipe list. I thought I might have forgotten something, but I didn't. <laughs> That's like a miracle in itself if I didn't forget something. Y'all, ever since I had COVID, I had it in the summer of 2020, and it beat me up, literally, and it almost cost me my life two different times at home. Um, I had to kind of walk it out by myself, and I refused to go to the hospital. But anyhow, the Lord brought me through it, brought me through that fire, and... But I've had the long haul symptoms of COVID and it's really affected my memory. Like I have to use sticky notes, I kid you not. And sometimes I forget to remind myself to go look at the sticky notes to remind myself. <laughs> Do you guys have that problem too? I mean, I've just noticed, I'm, I'm just noticing things and it's, it's pretty upsetting, but... It is what it is. What do you do about it, right? Just try to live day by day and the best you can. Okay, so let's get off that subject. Um, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Did I pronounce that right? I always kill that word. Always, always. And this is, I'm just using like a great value. Um, so two tablespoons. Oh yeah, I bet this will really <laughs> add some awesome flavor to this. I have but no doubt. No doubt. Okay. And then here comes our minced garlic you know i'm actually i usually use uh fresh garlic and everything and i just happened to pick this up one day about a month ago like and i it's come in pretty handy <laughs> i'll just say that especially when you don't have time to chop stuff and since i'm really stink at chopping um i don't like it <laughs> I have to gear up to do it. I'll just say that. Okay, so two teaspoons. I think I need to go get me a, another set of spoons. The dishwasher, or just washing them in hot water. Just you can buy these like at the dollar store kind of way sometimes. The uh, decals come off and. Then you don't know what what measurement you're using. I had to get a, a glass measuring cup the other day because um, it kept coming off the, the lettering, the writing, or the, all the numbers and stuff kept coming off of the off of the plastic and the glass one. And I would show you the glass one, but I'm not going to because it's in the sink. It's dirty and it looks kind of gross, so. I'm not going to traumatize y'all. Okay. You're welcome. All right. Um, next is um, one teaspoon of chili powder. And I just get these wonderful little 88 cent sauces at my favorite store called 417 Cash Savers, and it's the only one here. 
and I just love that place. <laughs> They're always offering me a job. I think I, I should come and work for them. It's a good group of people, really good group of good managers too. So it runs pretty smooth, like a well-oiled machine. All right, I need to quit yapping and do this one teaspoon of chili powder. I guess that's why my name is Kathy. Chatty Kathy. That's what my landlord calls me. He calls me Chatty Kathy. <laughs> I'm sure he has quite a few <laughs> names for me. Hopefully they're not all bad. <laughs> I'm a good tenant. Um, he's a good landlord. And he's just... We've become friends and he's just always... Pretty generous. Okay, y'all. Let's see, what else do we need? One teaspoon of dry mustard. Okay, and I actually have some dry mustard. I've noticed I was about out. Um, but this is what, some people don't know what dry mustard looks like. So that is what it looks like. It's just a yellow powdery, um, and I have just about a teaspoon left in this little container, so and I'm going to give it just a smidge more, just for good measure. Okay. And then the rest is a quarter teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper to taste. And I'm not going to measure that out, y'all. I'm just going to add it. And call it good. No, that's Grey Poupon. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and transfer it. Sorry. I'm going to transfer it over there into the base of crock pot and I'm going to put it on high and get ready to smell the goodness permeating through the house. Okay, so there you have it. I'm that's gonna be cooking for at least four hours. So, um, and I will be back later to show you what it looks like and maybe do a taste test too. Okay. Um, gosh, I did put my Worcestershire sauce in, right? Tell me, y'all, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was about ready to have a freak out. All right, <laughs> y'all take care. Don't forget to uh, hit like and subscribe to my channel. I hope it just gets better. So y'all have a good day, and I'll meet you back here this evening.